Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Weirheim. Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to Splitting Hairs Episode 11 of the FreeSalonEducation.com podcast, powered by our friends at MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, do your thing, um, join in the comments, and uh, be a part of the show. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> I was just saying that social media is so hard now, I, I feel like um, all the things that used to work back in the day, they just don't work i said i don't even know if the free wheel people even care anymore about the free wheel do you think people in the comments care about the free wheel because i was like maybe we should retire it because what if we made it more exciting and like strap someone to it and threw knives <laughs> instead I really, of just spinning i do think it's the algorithm like you said it's not yeah. reaching i think it's what the video is and i think it's how the internet works i know but that video was hilarious because though. people still love free stuff yeah that's true I think. I think so. Well, let us know in the comments. If you want to prove it to us, spin the wheel, let us know. Um, if you're a professional and you want to spin, uh, we have a ton of cool stuff on there. Um, again, this episode is powered by our friends at MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, they have a $5,000 gi giveaway going on right now on their website. So go to MinervaBeauty.com. Um, they furnished our entire salon with all of our equipment that we have is from Minerva Beauty. Um, so we should put some pictures up next week to show. Yeah, we should. That's actually a great idea. Because actually, then we can do the after because we'll be getting some new stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Um, the uh, But basically, if you are looking to upgrade your salon or barbershop, go to MinervaBeauty.com. Check out their selection. Great prices. Fast shipping. Um, a ton of in-stock items. They have this huge warehouse in Monroe, Georgia. And uh, you also could have the opportunity to just go there and check everything out in person. Um, there's very, very few, if not any other companies in the salon furniture business that have a warehouse like that that's available for you to go check it out. Usually, you order something. Um, they're the middleman. They order it from wherever in the world, and you got to wait for it to come in. So, um, that's a huge benefit to shopping with Minerva Beauty. And again, $5,000 giveaway. So go to MinervaBeauty.com and sign up for that. And also follow them on Instagram. Um, today's show, uh, we're going to talk about customer reviews. So I think this can relate to a lot of people uh, in any kind of business, whether in the restaurant industry, hair, hair business, whatever it is, a bad review uh, and how that can affect you and what do you do about it. Uh, and that's what we're going to talk about today. There was this article on Newsweek that was talking basically about this uh, woman, Angela Grill, who went into, she was unhappy with her hair, basically. Um, she went on, posted a bad review, and then the salon, and then she got all excited because the salon offered through the bad review to fix her hair, mm -hmm. which this article just seems crazy to me because I feel like that's a standard thing if you have emotions that you would see a bad review and then try to reach out to that person but you would hope that it doesn't get to that point yeah um and that's kind of where i want to take it first is for me when i can tell that a customer is not happy and i know actually somebody that um is really good at this is christina with different things because she if she knows she doesn't love what happened with anybody's whatever in in life in general um she'll like, it's not about like, maybe back in the day I would be like, that wasn't quite what I wanted it to be, but hopefully they didn't notice. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thought process, but like the real caring behind it and being like, this didn't quite go the way I wanted. Can you come tomorrow or my next availability and your next availability? Can you get in uh, with me so that we can start continuing this, you know, process and getting it right? Um, where is your guys's head on that process, like how do you handle it if you feel like something didn't quite go the way you wanted and, and the way the customer was expecting it? Well, I watched her TikTok and I was kind of a... Two so this is a different one, right? You No, the, the one that was related to that article. Yeah, not the, the Carly Angela one. Girl. Okay, right. cool. All right, cool. Um, so I like, I know that I am providing a service and because I care about my job, I want to provide a good one. So if somebody was unhappy, yes, of course, I would want to fix that or, you know, 
just make it right. I do think that it was the salons, they dropped the ball on getting back to her. If she did, in fact, contact them and didn't hear from them for a month or whatever. Yeah. But what really made my stomach turn with that was weaponizing reviews like this was, yeah. the whole point of reviews was meant to be something good, something helpful for people that are trying to find a place. And the fact that she's so giddy that this worked and she's telling other people to do this, I think is such a terrible, terrible direction to go. Yeah. And it, I, I hate it. And her and anyone that chooses to do that. I get being unhappy. I get wanting it fixed doing it the way she did it, I think is disgusting. It's um, it's a trend now. For, so yeah. I think like I'm noticing a lot in TikTok of people just instantly going on there and bashing the salon or the stylist. And it sucks because we don't know, like, did they reach out and like talk to them mm -hmm. or are they just jumping right to this because they know it's going to get a reaction? Yeah. And that's the other thing. If you're searching to be like, you know, an influencer or get noticed on social media, that's going to get you noticed. So mm -hmm. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Yeah. Like that's where I'm feeling the disconnect on social media now because a lot of what we put out is just positive stuff, right. education. And now everybody's negativity leads. Yeah. yeah. And I awful. And I know cuz like I and you know cuz you post my Facebook mm -hmm. uh every 3 hours. Mm -hmm. It's it's a world of negative comments yeah. that drive social media. So like, um, you know, I'm constantly posting things that I know, like, will get people's attention, but they're not even things that like I really even want to post now. But the only way to keep the algorithm up is to post those things that people are just going to jump in the comments and start tearing apart. Um, and it's just a weird kind of sick way to to live. And that's but that's what you're, that's what yeah. you're right. Like that's social media now. And that's yeah. how people are going on and they're going to get a ton of attention for it. Whether they even want their hair done again or not. No, they want the views more they than want they the care views. the haircut. Yeah. Like yeah. that was, yeah. ugh. Like when we started all this, it was, it was positivity. Like you put stuff out there and people are excited. They're thankful. If it's not for them, they move on. And it has turned into, it's so much easier to get attention for being negative to the point where, like, I don't even know if these people realize that that's what they're doing. Yeah. That by being nasty or talking smack, like, that's what's going to get them attention and that should be rewarded. Yeah. No way. I that's know. Get the hell out of here. That's what I think. Like, I think going into the next video we're going to talk about, that's what I was going to bring up about that. You never know if the video was for views or if it's the honest to God truth 100%. Oh, that, ooh, you know, there could the be one? bitching cool. about a lot of things and that's, I think it's you have to go on and read more reviews, obviously, than just one. And the right. whole video. But what what's worrisome is what if this does get out there? You know, what if you know she does start inspiring people that inspire other people to? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, if you just want your way, just be nasty and trash the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not it has nothing to do with how what you actually experience, but talk shit, get likes, and maybe you'll get some attention. And people are quick to jump. Like we deal with customer service a lot on on like an online business mm -hmm. standpoint. Mm -hmm. And people, man, like if you don't, if, if you don't get back to somebody right away, and like that's a difficult thing when there's a lot of people writing. Like if you don't get to back to somebody right away, people lose their minds. Like they get very rude. Yeah. And it's very easy to be rude on an email too, mm -hmm. which is just another. And it's hard for me because I sometimes take it personal because I'm not trying to take anyone's money. And I think sometimes <laughs> their emails go to their, like that yeah. trust. Yeah, like hard. you don't know me, but like I, I, it's legit. Like I'm just trying to get your scissors out, you know, yeah. or like I'm trying to figure out where, where the, you, the, you, like the post office lost your scissor and it's yeah. not, I'm not trying to take your money. Like I swear. Yeah. Because it does get to that point. Yeah. And, and they make you feel like that. Yeah. And yeah. that's the same way with like, you know, with doing hair as well. Like that, you get that review and it's just like. It's personal. Yeah. Because it's your we, work. Because we're trying to, we're trying our best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we are doing what we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's. Ugh, and it, everything on it. the internet, if it's drama, it's going to like. Like you're just going to get those yeah. views. So, and there's so many factors that go into like, um, whether you're going to be successful or not. Like 
in doing somebody's hair, you mm-hmm. know, like what they have on their hair, the history of things, the things they lie about when yeah. they sit in a chair that they've done to their hair that they're not telling you medications they're taking. Like there's so many factors that go into a successful end result. And, you know, when we get that end result and we're like, oh, that's not what I wanted, but I am good at what I do. So I know the next move, but you might have to come back. I think being proactive in owning up to, because that's something that I think it's hard for people to do as well, is like own up to this wasn't. I think know. when you're that way and you're most honest, you really do develop the clientele that you want in your chair too. Yeah. Because right. not everyone wants that person that's going to mess up or I don't want to say mess up or um, be adventurous or try different things when you're pushing like maybe color or a haircut or, you know, I don't know if um, a lot of clients want to come back, want to spend the time, which then we'll get into our other video. But yeah. there are those clients that trust you. They and they're like, oh, you, I know you got me. Like, yeah. you're not messing up my hair every time I come in, yeah. but you made a mistake or we're, you know. Yeah. I love um, like super in-depth and good consult forms because then you have receipts. Like, I think receipts are a big thing because then you're like, all right, well, this is what you filled out in the consult form. This is what we talked about, you know, and that kind of gives you like a little bit of a cushion if someone's going to come back and be like, oh, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. That was the funny oh, part of that gosh. video. Wait, that yeah. video that you sent last yeah. night. Oh, yeah. 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 That-, <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, and those of you guys that are listening, I, what's it from? I- uh, Fleabag. The show Fleabag. If you've seen it, if not, go look it up. There's a really funny scene involving like a, a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, she has this, this very, very styled asymmetrical haircut and she calls her sister crying and they're like, let's go to the salon and confront him. And they go in there, you butchered my sister. And they're like, show the reference photo. And it's like exactly the same. What's yeah. great though and is- so they just have to leave with their tail between their legs. <laughs> it's That's so great. Funny. They go in and they're like, they're just, they're like, it's like just yelling. And then all of a sudden the hairdresser goes, hair isn't everything. And she does this wonderful, like monologue speech of like how hair really is everything. Mm -hmm. And then they go to the truck and they're saying, they said, show us show. (laughs) They go and get the picture that's crumbled up in the trash can. And they, it looks exactly like (laughs) her hair (laughs) and they go, Oh, we're so sorry. (laughs) (laughs) See, we need more of that. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. like I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw this last <laughs> night, but on the other side of like just trying to be negative to get attention and because you're mad at something, a, a gift from Facebook last night while I was like reading up on all this, um, our like local neighborhood page, there's a, a beloved little restaurant around here. And apparently some 15 year old girl got fired for being on her phone and decided that she needed to go to the local Facebook page and talk super smack about this restaurant, like a child would. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't even, there was nothing about it that would make me not want to go there, but she thought she was doing something. And I was so happy to see like 86 comments of all the locals descending on this person. Like, no, you're doing this wrong. Like, yeah. Good luck with your future. If you think this is effective, like how you're going to get another job. Like, yeah, because if she is 15, I have just turned 16 year old and what we do. And I hope it is a learning experience because they have, they just grew up with that thing in their hand. Mm -hmm. Like they don't even, well, and now she's going to learn, you know, like, cause like what people pointed out, good luck applying for your next job. mm -hmm. Like the first thing people do is, Google you before they hire you Mm -hmm. and this is going to come up that this is what you do when you're a little unhappy. Yeah. I mean, we told Hayden that his whole, I mean, since he had a phone in his hand, like everything you're doing on this is. Mm -hmm. When we were young, there was no permanent record, but now there is. I know. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. All right. So here's the video. When did using PTO to go get your hair done become a thing? Because hear me out. No hairstylist are ever open on weekends or evenings. And I'm like, okay, you're in the service profession. You are providing a service. It's doing me a disservice by I already have to pay $350 to get my hair fully highlighted with you washing it and then blow drying it at the end. And then I have to take a day off work. And if I'm out of personal days or out of the PTO, I got to take it either from a sick leave bank that I also don't have or take the day unpaid just to get my hair done. 
Like, I had a hairstylist. I moved state, so I had to find a new hairstylist. And if you're a blondie or really anyone who gets their hair done in general, you know it's almost impossible to find a new person. My hair girl that I found down here loved her. She charged a good price. I tipped her well. She literally dropped me because I didn't fit into her schedule. She's like, I don't Let's think edit. our schedules are going to match up. I'm not doing weekends and I can't do evenings. I think that's enough. So then who does your schedule line up for? You yeah. Know? yeah, I think that's good. So <clears throat> first off, that edit was killing my <laughs> my ears. It's I like know, you, I was trying you to created a chop edit, yeah, <laughs> but you had gaps in between your words. So we literally just heard the like. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I was like, it was hurting my ears I and I was trying to turn it down, but it wasn't the volume. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. her sound of her voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, PTL, imagine out of my sec bank and I don't even have one. Well, neither do I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Imagine <laughs> all the things she says she has, but she just doesn't have a hairdresser that wants to take her. Right. And I wonder so, why. <laughs> so, here's my beef with this <laughs> Blondies. This is igniting a chip that I've had on my shoulder for the past four years now. Like, Coming out of lockdown, I was just so angry because the pandemic was still going. People were still getting sick. People were still dying. And then enough people complained that they wanted the service industry back working. They wanted to sacrifice people who have already sacrificed so much to be a part of the service industry because they wanted things. Nobody in the service industry were the ones out there arguing to get back to work. It was the people that wanted to be serviced. So I've been pissed about that for like four years. And then that makes me so angry because it's not just her. There's just this large mistreatment of people that are in the service industry. Yes, we are providing a service so that you don't have to do something. That does not mean that we are indentured servants to you. We have lives. We've given up so much to agree to work a job that does something for you. And this is how we get treated. Yeah. You just assume that we don't have personal lives. Maybe that hairdresser has kids, is taking care of a sick parent and doesn't have a schedule that works for you. So you got to be a bitch about it. Yeah. Absolutely not. Well, and the get the hell out of here. The funny thing too is that you're talking like you own, there's one hairdresser on the whole planet. Like, there's hairdressers that work every day of the week. Yeah. And just because the one you want to go to isn't available, that doesn't mean there's plenty of hairdressers out there that are working different days. So, yeah. um, so that's just a silly, it's again, somebody going on the internet to say negative things, to get attention. And like, like she obviously just doesn't have enough attention. I just want to say like, Times have changed in the hair industry and a lot of like, I'm willing to bet she's the client that comes in with a full color correction and wants to be out of there in an hour and mm -hmm. a half. And like that you have to take into consideration too, kind of what I talked about la maybe it was the last podcast, but like if your hair is going to take three to four hours and you're, you can't come in until that late, that means we're both here until 10 o'clock at night. And mm -hmm. why should either of us have to be here mm -hmm. at that late. Like, yeah. and you know, I, I, in that situation was willing to come in on a Saturday. And I think that's important too. Like I don't, I don't work Saturdays, but if there was a client that came to me and was like, Hey, you know, I really need a Saturday. Yeah. Like no problem. We'll work yeah. it out. But hair has changed so much with, especially with people's expectations on what they want that <laughs> like, it's going to take time. Like, yeah, we're not doing like Kelly Clarkson stripes yeah, you know, like, with no toner. And plus, like, like, now yeah. that there's filters and whatnot on on the internet, it's mm -hmm. like what you see isn't always what you think you are seeing. Yeah. yeah. And then like our favorite kind of saying, the repeat offenders. If you're a repeat offender like, like you, like... If you have a client coming in, no, no, like you <laughs> no, just no. said, not that you are. <laughs> like if you have a client coming in that loves to be this blonde, but she doesn't come in. You had an issue with that, with people not coming in. Yeah. Wasn't it in Maryland? And maybe not, they would yeah, wait they, forever. Because these girls don't want to book, to pay pre-book or rebook. Pre right. And that's the other thing. Like if you're saying that you need a specific time and then you want to get in at a, the drop mm -hmm. of a hat, like 
no, like, sorry. Yeah. But yeah. like pre-book your appointments. And, and then let's, also if you're not keeping up, your appointment will have be to be longer. X amount of hours and you might, it's harder to get in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And who's taking PTO to get their hair? She's out of her mind, well, really. Yeah. That's because the other thing. She's probably off Saturday and Sunday. She just doesn't want to fill her day Right. On there's, her weekend with getting her hair done. There's She's, this, I feel yeah. like her her rant is the symptom of the larger problem of you just assume that because someone is providing a service that it has to be for you when you want it. Like yeah. at the yeah. that mo no. There's that's a not restaurant how this works. that we love, and we have off on not we don't have off. We come into the office on Mondays, but a lot of the time we we don't have to work as long on Mondays, and we would love to have lunch there. Or yeah, but they're not open. Yeah, can you yeah. imagine if I went and was that's just what I'm doing? Talking well, a I'm, bunch gonna, of, I'm gonna make a review on the internet, like, and that's about like a lot of a, a lot of you know not here, but a lot of hairstylists when they want to get their hair done, guess what they have to do? They have to take off, and do they get PTO? No, no most of them don't. So yeah. it's like it's just part of. Growing yeah. up, this is again, I think what? it's time for the service industry to just in general, whether you're designing someone's home or cutting their hair or serving a burger, it's time to band together. Yes, yeah. <laughs> this, this is right. our country well, be screwed without the service industry, and yeah. they seem yeah. to forget that. The yeah. episode of um, King of Queens, <laughs> where she gets banned from every nail salon, yeah, Carrie. <laughs> Good. I yeah. think we could start something like that. Yeah, we start sending notes to everybody it's like, <laughs> around. Not like most wanted, but repeat offenders yeah. of the service industry. Yeah. Like, yeah. And we could do like mug shots. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know? Like they used to do when people would write bad checks. <laughs> the board. Wait, I had that on me once. <laughs> I believe what? it. I'm not I even kidding him. you. This is me, six, 17 <laughs> years old. I wrote a bad check at a gas station <laughs> and they put it, they taped it. To the front counter oh. of the gas station. I wonder if it's still there. <laughs> no. And then I ended up working there later. <laughs> That's but, the only reason it came down. <laughs> <laughs> I got that job and took that. Yeah. Yeah. No, they tape it to the front. Like, but hey, never wrote another I one. Bet Actually, you didn't. I don't think they accepted them. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, it's probably for $5 in gas too. But what are you going to do? Hey. Um, See, I told yeah. you, shame, is, shame has a place. Yeah. And it, it affects you forever. Actually, that just brought all the feelings back to my yeah, body. I, <laughs> Susan from the chat called them the magic wand customers. Mm. Mm. You know Truth. where they can put that magic wand? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do the quiz. You have a quiz, Car yeah. Carly? Let's do that real quick. And then if somebody wants to spin the wheel, let us know and you can spin the wheel. <laughs> How about Andrew? He's been hanging out. All right, cool. Love that sounds it. good. All right. So you want to ask your question? Yeah. Andrew could spin the wheel. Okay. All right. Trivia. About how much hair work. estimated do we naturally lose every day? Where's my Is buzzer? Is it a percentage or how many strands? Strands. Buzz. About how many strands? Mm hmm Okay. So you shouldn't have picked something like this Man. because if we come close, then one of us gets it. Yeah, are we doing how are we doing prices right? Like closest without going over? No, you over? have to guess these these numbers. Okay. The exact like, yeah, it within the blah 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 mm -hmm. blah blah, because it's it's within. Okay, okay. So. all right. So if we're within, we yep. get it. Okay, I got mine. Should I say it? You or can yeah, say it first. Ahead. Oh, uh, is it one to two hundred? I'm gonna uh, say. Oh, two, okay. No, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Now you go. One to two. No, no, don't say yes or no. Right. Well, that just this makes is, yeah, it. No. Well, no, because easier for you. <laughs> well, no, because we can still say like now it's like a. Well, now you're not going to say one to two hundred. Well, we can't. It's like the Price is Right. Haven't you guys ever been on it? <laughs> on when were you on the Price is Right? <laughs> I always wanted to be on it. <laughs> I did too. I want to play Plinko. I'm, I'm going to say. Come on, Joy. <laughs> oh my God! That's I'm going to say five hundred to a thousand <laughs> a day. Joy, <laughs> come well, on. That's Joy. what I lose. You're maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm wait, how many? Five hundred to a thousand. You get to say that many. Okay, to five five hundred <laughs> to seven hundred. <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> three fifty to five fifty. Okay. It is estimated that we naturally lose fifty to a hundred hairs oh. every day. 
mean, Carly, I got one of the numbers. Carly, you get a point. Oh. Yeah, but you got it on the yeah. wrong end. Mm, you were a hundred off. Yeah. Like 50, yeah. He said one, one to a hundred. <laughs> or one well, to no, he said a hundred to two hundred. He went way over, and that's the price is right. <laughs> And that's the bottom line. <laughs> All right, Joy. She really Never wants mind. Carly to have that point. <laughs> yeah. Carly's on the board. <laughs> I call. That, Congrats, Carly. I call yeah. Where are the robbers? Brian was staring at me like, he was just like, what Brian's the? like, I'm going to climb under that table right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Brian, All right, you get to spin uh, the wheel let's for Andrew. Wheel. All right. So on the wheel, Andrew, uh, we have FSE, uh, Shop FSE tools, scissors, combs, clips. We will ship them so fast to you. Um, formulate.co, oh, custom you. formulation. We got Mevo software uh, giving away uh, tickets to their upcoming events. And then uh, MinervaBeauty.com is giving away something cool as well. <laughs> so let's give it a spin, see what you win. And it's a 701 comb. Let's go. That's play. a popular item on, yeah. the, on the wheel. That's my favorite comb. Oh, I got to do this. Uh, you missed Everything it. Everything is so... We'll just cheer. It's hey. okay. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, congrats, Andrew. Just email me, Matt, at freesaloneducation.com. Just say wheel winner, your address, name, and uh, phone number, and we'll get that shipped out to you as soon as possible. Um Thank you so much to everybody that hung in the chat with us. I know. Uh, yeah, it was sorry. These, you know, technical difficulties on live streaming is just is where it is. I think I had too many programs open on the computer, so we'll be better next week. Um, we get to live and learn. It's a good allegory yep. for mental health. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe uh, to the channel. Subscribe to us on iTunes and uh, Spotify, and uh, follow Brian. Hairstyle and Carly. Hair by Carly C. And follow everything us at Free Salon Education. Also, shout out to uh, Mevo. I didn't give them a shout out on the show. And to formulate.co um, when for are you gonna be being with sponsors Mevo? of the show. I'm going to be at the, I actually have a meeting with them. It's June. It's mm. in June mm -hmm. in New York City um, at their next event. So go to Mevo.com slash Mevo dash on dash tour. Um, and you can get tickets. I'm going to do a social media class and this owner of the company is going to speak for uh, about an hour as well. It's a just a big get together of like-minded people um, sharing business ideas and different things. Um, so, uh, and then shout out to formulate.co. If you're looking for custom formulation, which I use on my face and my hair every day. Um, and... Uh, oh, this could be yours. <laughs> 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 exactly. So go to formulate.co <laughs> slash Matt Beck and you can order uh, your custom formulation. Um, and yeah, that's it. Rock and roll. All right. Have a great weekend. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you later. <coughs> Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Goodbye.